Hey everyone, there's a new update for Topaz Gigapixel AI. This is version 5.6. It's got a lot of new features. I'm going to look at the new comparison view today. That's new, so stay tuned. Hello everyone and welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today we're going to take a look at the new Gigapixel AI new update. This is version 5.6. I really want to take a look at the new comparison view. I think that's going to be a really nice new feature. So we're going to take a look at that today. But they've also improved color and tone processing for RAW and DNG files. I've recently done a video, which I'll link at the end of this video, on Topaz Sharpen AI with this same feature. And they brought it over to Gigapixel. So that will kind of translate over. Also, they've overhauled the AI models. That should speed things up a bit. And there's been other performance and UI improvements. You know, your typical bug fixes and things. If you have an up-to-date license with Topaz Gigapixel AI, this is a free update for you. But if you don't have Gigapixel AI yet, and it's a fantastic piece of software, I love it. I use it all the time. It's on sale. It's normally $99.99 on sale for $79.99 through, uh, through the 10th of September. And also there's an image quality bundle on sale right now where you can get Sharpen AI, Gigapixel AI, Denoise AI, all for $199.99. Now that's normally $259.97. That's a great savings. But if you click on my affiliate link in the uh, description below this video and at checkout use my promo code David Kelly, then you'll receive an additional 15% off the image quality bundle or just Gigapixel AI or any Topaz product. And that even works for license renewals. You can save on that 15% as well. This is Gigapixel AI version 5.6. Now, I'm just looking at the comparison view today. This is not a complete tutorial. So I have a whole bunch of tutorials on Gigapixel AI, and I'll do some more in-depth tutorials on this new update. But for now, I just want to really take a look at the uh, comparison view. So I'm just using one of the test images that come with this piece of software just to check out this comparison view. By the way, this is a JPEG image. It's 1,000 by 665 pixels. And as we look down here at the bottom, we can see right now it's upsized two times. And when you upsize it, it becomes a 2,000 by 1330 pixel image. And over here, this is where you can change your different upsize uh, ratios. You can upsize by scale, width, or height. And I have videos showing you how all this stuff works. You can even use a customized upsizing scale if you would like. The comparison mode is going to come in very handy when you want to determine which one of these models to use because you notice you have five different models here. And, you know, oftentimes it's hard to determine which one. So having that comparison view is going to be a big help. Now you're going to find your views up here. Just come up to this drop down, click here. And right now we're on single view, but you can go to a split view. You can go to a side by side view, or now you can go to this comparison view. Now the comparison view is really nice. We have four windows here. Now the upper left hand window is always going to be the original image without any upsizing done to it whatsoever. Then we have three other windows but we have five different models here so this is kind of cool we don't have five windows we only have three but you can put any one of these models that you want in any one of these windows for instance right now this window has lines in it so if i come here and if i click on see where it says lines click right here where it says lines and when i do it highlights and turns like a light blue color meaning it's selected so i could come here and click on standard now it'll put standard it'll put the standard model in that window so if i want to change this window right now it's on very compressed so if i click right here where it says very compressed see it highlights blue then let's say i want to put um low resolution in that window and then we can come here and you can see you can have the same in both windows i don't know why we'd want to do that but you could but let's come to this one and click and it says low resolution let's just throw uh very compressed on this one so you can change these windows up to any anything that you want which is really nice so now we can compare the upsizing results in any, any one of these windows and when you move these windows around and then release it it'll go ahead and update itself again and you'll see each one of these windows will start to update and again you can compare the results on each one of those windows and find the one that works best for you now i have mine set up for auto update but if you come up here into preferences and you can change this if you don't like like it auto auto updating if your computer's on a little on the slower side you can come here and shut this auto update off but i like to keep mine on because my computer works pretty fast and they've really in increased the performance on gigapixel ai it's really working really fast for me 
But let me know what kind of results you get as well when you're using Gigafix. So I know some folks out there are getting not as good of results, some are getting better. But if you don't have a more up-to-date computer, your results will probably be a little on the slower side. So you may want to shut that uh, auto update off. And then anytime you change anything here, like if I up, upsize this to like four times now, everything will update. And so you just give it a few seconds for it to update and uh, see what kind of results. And this is all real time for you. you can, so you can see how fast it's updating. And again, you can move these windows around and then it'll re-update itself. And again, it's not a full tutorial, but if we take a look over here at settings, we have an auto setting, which is a really nice deal because it'll automatically set up your image for the way it feels will give you the optimal results. But if you need to change things up, if you felt you had a little extra noise in your image and it wasn't getting rid of it, you can take this suppressed noise and move it over to the right and remove more of that noise to the left to not take as much noise out. If you need your image sharper, remove blur, move it to the right, it'll sharpen up your image. If it's too sharp, you can move it to the left and take some of the sharpness out. Whatever window is highlighted in blue, that's what these settings are controlling. In other words, right now, if I turn the remove blur up here, it's only gonna update this particular window because I'm only updating that particular uh, model right now. But if I click on very compressed, now you have to click on where it says very compressed. And now if I take the remove blur and move it up here, give it a second or two, it will update itself and you can see the result. And the same goes for this low res. Click on the low resolution, it turns blue, and then take your remove blur and move it to the right to sharpen it or to the left to take some of the sharpening out. Well, this is the comparison view, the new comparison view, and I really think it's going to be a big help. It's going to make it a lot easier for us to determine which model to use. Now, remember, you have to make the, uh, the window active. In other words, you have to click on where it says the name of the model, make it active, and then you can go ahead and change it. Say, I want to change this to lines. Now that goes to lines. But if I just click right here on this window, this doesn't turn blue, right? So I have to actually click right down here and turn it blue. And now I can change this to maybe art and CG if I want to. But that's how it works. But remember, you do have to click on this little area with the information and turn it blue in order to change the, um, the model in that particular window very very important but there it is again this is a brief tutorial it's not an in-depth tutorial we're not going to get into saving this i just wanted you to see the comparison view but i have more videos planned on gigapixel ai so stay tuned for those but please leave comments and questions i really love to hear your feedback um, if you enjoyed the tutorial today, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. And don't forget, take advantage of the sale, click my affiliate link, use the promo code David Kelly at checkout. And if your license is expired, go ahead and renew it and use my promo code for that as well and save 15% on the license renewal. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time, but until then, happy editing.